Hello everyone and welcome, it's Wasmatic here. Um, firstly, apologies, it's been some time since I've posted the um, most recent Witcher 3 builds guide, but I have been incredibly busy um, in my real life job. So um, here I am anyway, I've had a fantastic month on the channel, uh, grown enormously in terms of numbers and subscribers and views and likes, so thank you to everyone who's um, subscribed. Uh, I started doing this at the end of May and it, it's just taken off more than I could have hoped for, so thank you very much. But you're not here to listen to me waffle, you're here to look at the latest bombs build for um, Geralt. So here we go, let's dive in. This is a very specific combat build, meaning that um, I have built this with a very, very specific combat style in mind. Um, therefore, the points uh, and the way that I play this in um, in the game is very much based around um, a very linear style of attack. Um, you'll understand more when, when I show you how it works. But it's an alchemy tank build, so we're going to try and um, maximise hit points or vitality as much as we can. So you will see, to start off, you build your alchemy tree. You want to grab eight skills in alchemy. My recommendations would be you put five out of five points in heightened tolerance, which will increase your potion overdose threshold by 25%. You put three points in bomb creation. That's where the fun starts. And three points in acquired tolerance. Uh, this will, along with um, heightened tolerance, get your toxicity up and allow you to use decoctions. Always handy. But mostly what we want is the bomb skill line here. So anything else that's built around that is just so we can get the bombs. Okay, so you've got those. Next thing you want is 5 out of 5 points in pyrotechnics. Uh, bombs that usually do not inflict damage now deal damage in addition to the normal effects. That's great. I mean, we have to get that to go further down the tree. Uh, tissue transmutation next, you want 5 out of 5 points in there. When consumed, mutagen decoctions increase vitality by a 1000 for the decoction's effective duration. This gives you an ability to be able to control how many hit points you have. Uh, the more decoctions you take, obviously, the more hit points you can have. Uh, I think with this build you're limited to 2, maybe 3 decoctions? We'll see. Next, again, going down the bomb skill tree, you want efficiency in bomb creation. That is, uh, increases the maximum number of bombs in each slot by five. Now, that's really important because you do not want to keep meditating every time you want to use a bomb. Um, synergy uh, in the mutation tree, just to get you down to the bottom level for the bombs, but this increases the bonus for mutagens placed in the mutagen slot by 50%. That's important in this build because we're going for high vitality again. We're going to mix it with strong attacks. So the high vitality is really important. So having that um, synergy, really good to get your, um, uh, your vitality up from your greater green mutagens. And finally, 5 out of 5 points in cluster bombs. Upon detonation, bombs separate into explosive fragments. Number of fragments equals 6. Um, this is really important because the build relies very heavily on using a bomb called Northern Wind. And Northern Wind is a freeze. When you freeze your uh, foe, you get increased damage. So um, let's jump over and just very quickly look at your combat skills. You want three combat skills here. Now you could, if you wanted, grab Muscle Memory and precise blows if you prefer using fast attacks. However, I've built this around a tanky style build, lots of health, slow attacks, and I'm also using the Ursine armor to get the benefits to strong attacks. So I'm putting five out of five points in strength training. Strong attack damage is increased by 25% and plus 5% for adrenaline point gain. The adrenaline point gain is kind of irrelevant because the, again, with this build, we're hoping that we'll kill quite quickly. Um, to get you down to the next tier, I've put five, five out of five points in Resolve in the Battle Trance tree, which uh, means that if you do gain some adrenaline points, you don't lose them upon taking damage. And then finally, five out of five points in Crushing Blows, increasing your strong attack critical chance by 10% and strong attack critical hit damage by 75%. So you're getting a fair bit of damage out of there. So you've got uh, 11 uh, skills in total. And then your final skill. Now I played around with a few bits in here. I looked at using metabolic control, increasing the maximum toxicity by 
um, 30 points and maybe trying to shove another decoction in to get the vitality up a bit higher. Um, I didn't opt for that, but you could. You could if you wanted to uh, not use the heavy armor. You could drop that, maybe use um, the wolf armor. I haven't tried the wolf armor yet, which is next on the list. Um, so you could instead just opt to take that. But for this, I have opted for the Bear School Techniques. Each piece of heavy armor increases vitality by 5%. So I'm really, really maxing out um, my vitality. Now you can see without any skills slotted, um, just from my mutagens, I'm gaining 7,580 vitality in total. So when I start to build this, you will see, as I drop these skills in, how much we can gain in vitality. Now I think in total I managed to get it to about 13,000 which is a pretty good level of hit points for the build. So let's drop these in. There and there and then to finish off that tree we will drop in the um, bear school techniques at the bottom. So there you go. That's got us to 11,206. That's pretty good. Um, now, if I take two decoctions, that should take us to 13,206. So the last tree you use for your strength training, uh, sorry, for your uh, ugh, for your combat skills to get your damage up. Now, your damage will be boosted. This isn't significant amount of damage. If you look at the DPS of the Silver Sword and the Steel Sword, it's not a huge amount of damage. But what you are going to do is you're going to actually... Um, increase the amount of damage you do by the bombs that you use. Uh, you will see when I uh, explain it. So we're on vitality now, 11,206. So let's pick some decoctions. I did have the ones I wanted to use mapped out, but I've completely forgotten. Now I've started talking what they were, what they are, so just bear with me a second. Okay, so one decoction is alchemy creations can be used one additional time. That will give you an additional bomb. So there you go, you got more bombs. Um, and then okay so the other one i take is arch griffin decoction if stamina is available strong attacks consume all of it and reduce the struck foe's vitality by 10 percent after the normal damage is calculated so uh, because i haven't got a rend i think it is um let's have a look because i'm not going all the way down the strong attacks tree to get a uh, rend then that decoction gives us the ability so then you'll see now anyway our vitality has gone to 13,206. So that's a pretty handsome level of, of damage. Now the bombs that you want to use or that I have slotted for this build is uh, Northern Wind, Freezes Foes, Blows Landed on Froze, on Frozen Foes deal additional damage. So effectively, and this is why we want the splinter effect to get six splinter bombs. If you're fighting a single uh, monster, that's fine. You throw a bomb and it'll freeze it. You run in, do a strong attack, Coupled with the decoction, you're going to do quite a bit of damage. If you are fighting a group of, say, Neckers, then throwing in the Northern Wind will freeze most of the group, and then you'll just have to run in and quickly hit them. You've got plenty of bombs, so there you go. So that's the build. The other bomb that I use is just in case I ever run out of Frozen, is to use a uh, fire and give them some burning as well. So that's the build. I'll just go back and summarize it again. Height and Tolerance. Steady aim, acquired tolerance, efficiency, tissue transmutation, pyrotechnics, synergy, and cluster bombs. Cluster bombs is the one I was thinking of about the, when you um, the bombs separate into explosive fragments. Uh, that's really good for uh, group group damage. Uh, you want your bear school techniques, and then finally, whichever points you want to use in the combat tree. You can use fast attacks if you like. You can. It would have to be some sort of sword damage, but um, there you go. So that's the build. I'm going to now go. I'm going to go and find something to fight. I have no Witcher contracts left, so I don't know what it's going to be. But um, I will be back as soon as I found something. So everyone, we have found. I have found uh, a monster to fight and uh, test out this bombs build. So. I, uh, one bit that I forgot to tell you is the potion that I am using is uh, just for um, adrenaline point gain because I couldn't find anything else to use. So I'm using Maribor Forest Accelerates uh, Generation of Adrenaline Points. And uh, so that's what I'm going to use. I suspect this is quite a low level uh, 
monster, so it won't take me very long to kill it. But uh, you'll get an idea, hopefully, of the um, the uh, combat style. If I can get it to work, of course. So it's a freeze bomb in, and then strong attacks, strong attacks, strong attacks, and. Obviously, with your high hit points, you're not taking much damage at all. Let's see another free bomb in. And strong attack, strong attack. Attack. It doesn't freeze them for very long, apparently. Uh, you'll notice the other thing with this build is... Uh, he was quite low level. The other thing with this build is... Um, there are no heals to it uh, unless you use uh, a potion. So the other alternative to the build which I may look at doing is um, building a not an alchemy tank build but an alchemy build that uses just potions and bombs so um, I need to give that some thought but anyway there you go so you've seen the build and you've seen how it's used in action it'll be a little bit bitty uh, so I hope you liked it. It's a fun one to play. Uh, it is a little bit linear. You can mix it up by trying different bombs. Um, so uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to be looking at doing some crossbow and oils builds, I think, in the near future, because I've not really tested those out too much. I think probably oils I will mix with fast attacks, which would be interesting. And crossbows, I don't know yet. Um, so wait and see but for now thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed it and as ever don't forget to click a like uh, subscribe and the link will be on the screen at the end of the video and uh, leave me a comment thanks guys see you soon